What's going on everybody? This is James from FantasyCruncher.com here with a quick MLB DFS tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at team stacks and how to build team stacks. Uh, first things first, we're on DraftKings for MLB. You're going to want to first select the slate you're playing on. 13 game slate today on DraftKings. Second, you're going to want to navigate to the Advanced Options tab and then Team Stacks. From here you see you have the option to add a team stack, to which we're going to click. And then we're going to want to set our stack size. For the example today, we're going to set a primary stack of 5, and we're going to set a secondary stack of 3. So, stack size 5, and then we're going to want to add a second stack. So we're going to click Add Team Stack again, and we're going to change this one to 3. So now, we have a 5 stack and a 3 stack set. So every lineup crunch from this point forward is going to have 5 players from one team and 3 players from another. At this point, a lot of this is up to user control. From here, we can select the teams we want in the stack by clicking the checkbox. We can also set the exposure of the stack by setting an exposure here. The exposure here means that, let's just say we want 25%. No team selected now will be over 25% in your crunch for five player stacks. Another thing we can control is the gap. Now, the gap represents the space between batters in the batting order. So here you can see we have any selected for the gap. That means the when the lineup is crunched, it could use batters 1, 3, 6, 8, and 9. Uh, looking at the Pirates, you can see that with using any max gap, there's 121 different possible stack combinations. Now, if we change this to no gap... This means there will not be a gap between your batters. So it would have to use five consecutive batters. So one, two, three, four, five. It could also use seven, eight, nine, one, two. As you can see, this really shrinks the number of combinations that can be used for a stack. So keep in mind, if you are going to start adding restrictions to your stacks, you're limiting the number of stacks that can be made, and you're also going to limit the amount of time it takes to crunch. Uh, a one-player gap... You can see now we have 43 possible stacks. That would mean it could use something like 1, 2, 4, 6, 8. Um, and, you know, two-player gap, you know, it, it wouldn't have more than a two-player space between two of the batters. Uh, for this, I'm going to leave it on any. You can also adjust the players or the batting orders allowed in your stack. So let's say you don't want any 8 or 9 hitters. Um, by unchecking them up here, it's going to uncheck globally every team set in your stack. If you don't want to do that, then you could come down to the individual team and uncheck them there. Um, also note, as you uncheck players, it's going to live adjust the number of stacks that are possible to be made. So if we don't include the eight and nine hitters from the Pirates and we have any gap set, we're gonna only have 18 different player combinations that can be used. Going a step further, we can expand a stack Let's add eight and nine back in. And it will show you, you know, relevant stats, ownership, if you have a pro subscription, salary, projection, and value. Um, if we click on the stacks tab, though, uh, one thing that I think is cool that might, some people might not know about, uh, clicking on the stacks tab, you can actually sort by highest projected stack and see what that is, how much it will cost, and the ownership for it. So here... Um, a stack of McCutcheon, Sawinski, Connor Joe, Carlos Santana, and Cabrian Hayes, one through five, is our highest projected stack right now. Um, it will cost a combined 17000 in salary and has a combined 7.6% ownership. So let's do a test here. Let's say we want to stack four teams as five and four teams as three, and uh, let's create some teams. Uh, I'm going to remove all teams because I think that's a little quicker than going through and clicking individually. Tonight, let's say we want to stack only the Dodgers... Uh, the Rays, the Yankees, and let's go with the Phillies as our five-man stacks. We can also click this to hide all the teams that we aren't using, just to clean up your view a little bit. Um, for three-man stacks, let's say we want three-mans from the Reds, the Blue Jays, the Astros, and the Rangers. And we're going to do the same. Um, I also want these at 25% because I want full combinations here. So let's go and crunch 100 lineups. Our 100 lineups are now done crunching. Let's take a look at the Team Stacks tab. As you can see, 
We used four teams in 100 stacks. We set them to 25% max exposure. We have four teams at 25%. We also used four three-man stacks, set them also to 25% exposure. As you can see, they all came out to 25%. We can also look at combos here, see which teams were used the most together. And that looks like the Dodgers and the Rangers were used together at 19%. But let's say we don't want the Dodgers and the Rangers used together at 19%. Let's say we want them used at just 10%. That's where the combo limit will come into play. So let's find the Dodgers and the Rangers, and let's set their exposure limit together to 10%. Now we're going to go back, let's recrunch. Now our crunch is done. Let's look at team stacks again. As you can see, 25% across the board, combos. The Dodgers and the Rangers were now only used together 10% of the time as opposed to the original Crunch, which had them used together 19% of the time. So that's an example of how after setting your stack sizes and your exposures, you can also work in the combo limits to limit how two teams are set together. Um, as you can see here, if you have multiple team stacks set, you can add exposure limits to restrict how many times the teams may be used together. Just as a reminder, everything I just showed you is just an example. Uh, ultimately, all of these choices are up to you, the user, to select the stack size you want, the teams you wanna play, the exposures and the gaps. This was just an example to show you how exposures, gaps, team combo limits, and stack sizes can be set and can be used together. Um, you can set any stack size you want. The max on DraftKings is five and the max on FanDuel is four, just as long as the total number of players uh, lands within the legal constraints of the DFS sites. For example, if you were to set a five, four stack here and then tried to crunch, you would not be able to and you would get an, an error of this because a five, four stack is not a legal build or one that can even be made on DraftKings. Um, one other thing just to touch on here, you might see these numbers here. Uh, these show you the highest projected score and the lowest projected score from possible stacks. Same with the highest uh, possible salary and lowest possible salary that could be used from a stack from this team. Um, same with value and then ownership. If you have a pro subscription, you'd also see that here. Uh, you could also sort here. Let's say you wanted to see the, the highest projected stack that would be the Dodgers. Let's say you want to see the highest ownership stack. That would also be the Dodgers. So there really is a lot you can do inside the Stacks tab on Fantasy Cruncher. I hope that this uh, quick view and tutorial um, maybe helps it make sense a little bit more. If you have any other questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out in our Discord, or you can email us at support at fantasycruncher.com. Once again, this is James from fantasycruncher.com, and have a good one.